night dates fall upon you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided with water and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided with dates and now we learn from this some very important lessons number 1 Maryam alayhi salam just delivered a child he is helpless alone and she is told to shake not the branch of the palm tree but to shake what the base of the palm tree and all of you know how solid the palm tree is if a group of men surround it and try to shake it at the base it's impossible so what's the point allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling maryam to shake the base of a palm tree she is not going to able to shake it but the point is that make an effort she has to do her part if you put your hands on a palm tree don't expect any dates to fall on you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have made the dates fall down without her intervention but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants her to do her part and that's a very very important lesson if we want the victory of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to do our part you have to take the first step allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the hadith al qudsi if you walk towards me i will run towards you but you have to take the first step the ones who seek guidance they look for it allah will give it to them so maryam alayhi salam put her hand on the palm tree the fresh ripe dates fell on her fresh date rich in mineral and vitamin to this day if you have the fresh date childbirth post childbirth or even before it is very very healthy rich in iron allahu akbar something that is amazing from the quran so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says so eat and drink as much as you want and thank allah be happy and be glad now maryam alayhi salam has a child with her and it's going to be very difficult on her to convince the people that this is a child and it's a word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her don't speak don't speak we will take care of you and if you see any human being say verily i have vowed a fast on to the most gracious so i shall not speak to any human being this day say that you are fasting from speaking because what will she tell the people if she tells the truth nobody is going to believe her she will tell them an angel came to me and told me that they are not going to believe her so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her don't speak she now arrived it was late afternoon when she arrived with the child back to her people going back into the place where she was in seclusion holding the child at her chest and walking very carefully very very calm relaxed her face was beaming with light and she was looking very happy and she is holding the child covering the child very well the people began to see and started saying isn't that the mary who's supposed to be in the place of worship isn't she the one who's supposed to be the pious isn't she the one who is the descendant of the prophet harun and because he was so pious and she had his blood in her being from his lineage they always reminded her you are from the family of such a pious man your mother is pious your father is pious your generations your grandfathers it dates back all the way to harun they said oh mary indeed you have brought a thing that is mighty what have you done and then they said oh sister of harun your father was not a man who used to commit adultery no your mother was an unchaste woman what have you done so they are already accusing her now this was an accusation of adultery how did you become pregnant how did you get this child they all asking they accusing fa asharat ilayhi she knew the child is going to speak subhanallah i don't need to say anything today so when she pointed to him they looked at her they realized she doesn't want to talk she's now pointing at the child is she foolish they said how can we speak to a child in a cradle here and as they were in this discussion and they were talking to each other and talking to her and telling her how foolish are you you want us to talk a babe to a baby they heard the baby say inni abdullah indeed i am the servant of god indeed i am the servant of god abdullah and he has given me the scripture and made me a prophet and he has made me blessed wherever i am and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakat as long as i remain alive 
and made me dutiful to my mother and he has not made me a wretched tyrant and peace be upon me the child is still speaking subhanallah these people are baffled they are gobsmacked don't know what to say silent just watching he's saying may peace be upon me the day i was born the day i shall die the day i will be resurrected may the peace of allah be upon me he is speaking they are shocked so how do they react these were priests these were rabbis these were people who used to teach the religion watching they had just accused someone of adultery and what happened as they are watching they are looking they are hearing there is no ways this is magic there is no ways this is anything but a miracle there is no ways this is anything but a sign from allah the creator it is miraculous they know the piety of this woman they know the family they know everything they can see she's not worried they can see the miracle child they can see everything but they are worried that if we now acknowledge this child they are thinking future this child is going to take the carpet from beneath our feet pull it and what will happen? We won't have leadership anymore. Nobody's going to follow us anymore. People will now follow him. He is going to be the boss. He's going to be above us. The best thing for us to do is from now, let us fight him from that stage. So they continued. No, we're not interested. We would like to un you to understand this is a sin. You have committed immorality. You've come with a child. This child is illegal, illegitimate. They continued accusing Maryam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we purified her. She was pure. And there Isa alayhi salam grew up with the guardianship and the care of his mother. Of course, now father, a mother that had passion and care for his son, knowing the destiny of his son. And Isa alayhi salam grew up in Beit Lahim. And Beit Lahim is just few kilometers away from Jerusalem. After that day that Isa alayhi salam spoke, when he was only a few days old, Isa never spoke again until he grew up like every other child grows up and start to speak in the age that every other child speaks. And his mother, she was so cautious on Isa alayhi salam from the envy of Bani Israel, especially the leaders of Bani Israel. And when Isa alayhi salam grew up and became a mature child, his mother was so afraid on Isa alayhi salam and the news started to come out about Isa and the miracle that happened on the hands of Isa. And many of the leaders, especially the religious leaders of Bani Israel, did not accept the tension to be taken away from them to go to a child or a mother. Bani Israel were led by corrupt leaders. Even their religious leaders were corrupt. And they wanted to protect themselves. And the news that came out, that their ending and the disclosure of the corruption will take place on the hands of Isa alayhi salam. So they start to plot and plan against Isa alayhi salam. And for that, his mother used to be so cautious, so protective on Isa alayhi salam. So she used to take him away from the city many times until she went to uh, Jerusalem. And she settled in Jerusalem with Isa alayhi salam. And in Jerusalem, Bayt al-Maqdis, there's a high hill there's food there's fruit and there's water there a blessed place there are people whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says have started calling this young boy the son of god why was this this was because they didn't see the father so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says nay it is not befitting for the creator to take a son to have a begotten son it is blaspheme to relate to the creator who only needs to say be and anything he wants to make is created automatically. It is blasphemous to relate to him to say he has a begotten son. How can they say that Allah, the most merciful, has a son? And it is not befitting for the most merciful to have a son. Allah says, this statement is so blasphemous that the skies want to tear apart. And the earth wants to explode and the mountains want to fall prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the severity and seriousness of such a dangerous statement against the maker himself. So even the creation of Allah are bearing witness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not taken a son 
and they are agitated at the fact that people are saying this. Yes, he did not have a father, but Adam neither had a father nor a mother. And Eve, she was also created miraculously. And when it comes to Jesus, may peace be upon him, he did not have a father. That's what the Quran says. But you cannot say the son of Allah and the begotten. The word beget is so blasphemous. If you have to check the meaning of it in the Oxford Dictionary, you'd probably hide your face. May Allah protect us. How can we say that for the maker of the universe? In a young age, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jal had granted Isa alayhi salam the wisdom and the knowledge as he did grant Yahya alayhi salam his cousin from before. And when Isa alayhi salam reached the age of 30, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Injil to Isa alayhi salam and the Injil came as a confirmation for the Torah. Isa alayhi salam himself says, I have came to confirm the law of the Torah dot by dot, jot by jot, letter by letter. This has not only been mentioned in Quran, but it is in the Bible too. Isa Islam said, I have came to confirm the law of the Torah. And after many years, Paul comes up and says, You do not have to follow the law. You do not have to keep up with the law of Torah. In fact, you have to leave it behind because that's not the religion. And they followed Paul and they leave the word of Isa, which is in the Bible of today. Subhanallah, that's why. The true founder of the Christianity of today is Paul, not Isa a.s. It is not the religion of Isa ibn Maryam a.s. The Torah that was revealed to Musa a.s. He said, I came to confirm what's in it and to permit some of the things that were forbidden on you. In the Torah, the Torah is so strict. There are matters. There are matters and things that are forbidden on Bani Israel that were too harsh and tough on them. When Isa came with the Injil, the Injil in which what Allah revealed had permitted some of A very interesting video. I've been thinking since my previous video, how did Mary honestly manage to, manage to hide her pregnancy? The people around her were not noticing anything. And another thing I noted is um, how God is there for Mary because she was she found herself in a place where she's giving birth alone. There's no one around to help anyone to guide her or whatever the case is in that moment there was a comment that said run to me or run to you something like that i feel like that is reminding us it's just not applicable to mary but that's a message to us saying uh, like i i have your back that's god saying i have your back and because i have your back every time you tend to me i'll be there to help you're never alone in this world no matter the situation no matter what um, whatever case you're, face, you're going through in this life, God is always there for you. So it's up to us to always, always remind ourselves that we're never really, really alone. I can be seated here alone, but I'm not alone. God is always there to provide um, whatever I need. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I love... A mother's love is really really beautiful to see i mean our parents our mothers always protect us from the worst things sometimes they um they set limits so that we can follow the right path to some extent i don't know if you guys understand me and we should love them for that because they can tell um what's fake and what's not what's good and what's not and they're just <laughs> blessings like that that are there to guide us throughout life let me know what you guys think uh if there's something you guys want me to react to drop the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to it and i'll see you in my next reaction video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video